Buckingham County likes to call itself the heart of Virginia, but not all of the hearts that are open in this part of the state are human. Some have hoofs and manes, but they stand ready to build a connection with someone in need, especially children. We provide services to local schools that send students over here in their special needs programs and those students come over for a classroom portion as well as a horseback riding portion. Heartland Horse Heroes program started offering mainstream riding lessons in 2008, but one of Dowd's students had special needs and Dowd quickly became interested in therapeutic horse training. By 2010, Dowd had moved Heartland Horse Heroes to her ranch in Buckingham County. Two years ago, she discovered new meaning for her work after having a daughter with Down syndrome. She has low muscle tone with Down syndrome, it's associated with Down syndrome, and so um, riding a horse causes her to sit up tall and causes her to hold on a little bit with her legs, and she used to just basically be like slime on the horse. It took myself and her father um, to hold her in position. Heartland is one of several facilities around the state that offer horse therapy. Many of these riding groups, like Equinity Equine Therapy and Activities, use techniques developed by the Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association. It couples a mental health professional with an equine specialist. And what I love about it is that it's, it's all non-mounted activity. You don't need to have any experience with a horse uh, in order to be able to go through, use the Agala model. Um, and it, it focuses solely on, uh, on the process, not the task. And it helps people to really uncover baggage that they might not even know that they have over the years. It helps people grow through responsibility, um, caring for the horses. Many horse therapy facilities had to shut down due to pandemic restrictions and are only now beginning to reopen. Here at Healing Strides of Virginia, just outside Roanoke, anyone can get horse therapy, but they specialize in young children, patients with special needs, and veterans. Which Carol really Young runs Healing Strides of Virginia, which started in 1991 in Franklin County. She's been here since 2008. That horse knows where to meet us. They meet us exactly where we are at that moment on that day. Jason Hogenkamp has served in many U.S. military campaigns over the past 30 years in Panama, Iraq, Bosnia, and other countries. He grew up around horses and has rediscovered the bond he had with them. was uh, released from the military in the early 2000s, and uh, I lost that inability to, to communicate effectively with people. And uh, the horse lives in a silent world, and that's something that... Uh, from my childhood, I remembered horses being able to communicate with one another without saying anything, and I wasn't really keen on talking or being able to express my feelings to anybody. So um, I started working with horses again in 2001 uh, and two, and uh, really started trying to find myself again. Sayward McKinney is also a combat veteran injured in the second Iraq war. She'll never walk or talk the way she did before her trauma, but she's also found a connection with horses through therapy. They found an AVM in my head. It's called arterial venous malformation. And vessels that are in your, bit, in your head that should be small, they're really big and kind of having too much um, blood throwing through it and stuff. So they were trying to treat it. I had five surgeries in two years and actually had a um, st stroke after my last treatment. And so that left me with my right side uh, disabled. It's hard for me to talk sometimes. I have aphasia, so sometimes it's hard for me to get my words out. Sometimes it's hard for me to write and read and all that stuff. Despite her injuries, she too found a connection and a way forward with her life through horseback therapy. I um, was uh, at Walter Reed and um, my um, lady that was in charge of my rehab kind of told me about healing or told me about um, Arlington Cemetery where they um, have the case on horses that pull the caskets. And so I've been riding with them since then. And um, I had two, two sidewalkers, one on each side, and then I had someone actually holding the reins to tell the horse where to go and stuff. 
And then when I got here, it was kind of the same thing. Sayward can already see the next step in her odyssey. She recently found out she'll be competing in the Special Olympics. Every rider and every horse will discover their own path, but one thing's for sure, it will be a journey well worth taking. In Franklin County, I'm Burke Moeller reporting. We're so 